Imposing neutral clothing is just discrimination in disguise. If I come to work wearing a headscarf, or a face veil, or a cross, or a hoodie, or dress head to toe in tweed and a flat cap, what, what am, am I saying? saying? Our clothing speaks to our background, our class, and our ideals, and I'd argue that all of those are political. A recent European Court of Justice ruling upheld that workplaces with a so-called neutrality policy were within their right to ban items they thought weren't neutral, such as a cross or a headscarf. For some, enforcing political and religious neutrality is key to a harmonious working environment. But for others, it's just discrimination dressed up in fancy language. So what is neutral? Neutrality is what is normal for the majority of people. In white secular Europe, neutrality reflects the norms of white secular people. If we think of religiosity as a spectrum from a-religious to religious, no single position on that spectrum is any more neutral than any other. Dressing in a way that's a-religious is just as political or just as neutral as dressing with religious markers. Either way, you're saying something with your appearance. That's the very basis of advertising. Are slogan t-shirts, which are all the rage, a political statement? What about dreadlocks or wearing a red or blue tie? What about wearing your afro hair natural or choosing rainbow-colored accessories? Neutrality is a myth. It crystallizes a vision of what's normal and is used to erase the differences that bother us. Banning the headscarf at work, which, let's face it, is what most conversations about neutrality in Europe are all about, cannot be separated from broader discussions about Muslims as a problem community. Neutrality is being used to marginalize identities that don't fit the myth of secular progress, and that's just discrimination in disguise.